Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Iqmal Hakim and my partner is Muhammad Amah. We are from Group A4. Today, we would like to present uh, our problem-based learning topic which is investigation of what is said and their mitigation measures. Before we go further, let's look the theory of the vortex sec and the mitigation technique that we use in this research. So, what is vortex sec? Every electrical system or type of equipment is designed to work at a specific voltage rating. Vortex secs are short duration events that might cause damage to electronic or industrial equipment, outages and other power quality issues. By the definition, a voltage sec is a decrease in RMS voltage at the power frequency for duration from 0.5 cycles to 1 minute, reported as the remaining voltage. There are several types of voltage sacks such as single phase sacks, phase two phase sacks, and three phase sacks. There are various causes of the voltage sacks in a power system. This following the general causes of the voltage sacks, such as voltage sacks due to faults, may be in symmetrical or unsymmetrical in nature. Voltage set to motor starting, in symmetrical in nature. Voltage set to transformer energizing, as unsymmetrical in nature. So there are several characteristics to prove a voltage set in power system. There are magnitude of set, type of fault, fault impedance, system configuration, and distance of the fault. I would like to describe the uh, type of fault, which is voltage sets can be clarified as the balance and unbalanced depending on the type of the faults. There are seven basic voltage set types according to ABC classification, which is from type A to type F. The duration of the set can be shown at the instantaneous in 0.5 at 30 cycles, momentary 30 cycles in 3 seconds, and temporary 3 seconds in 1 minute. Then this is the effect of the voltage set on commercial installations. First is chiller system that causing the trip or contactor, lighting circuits, flickering of the lights, escalators, control contactors and PLC of the escalator may drop off, and finally general circuits tripping of MCB and RCD. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Amar bin Dahari. I will continue the presentation on investigation of voltage sec and mitigation measures on problem statement. So, the problem statement first is electrical fault detected by overcurrent or under voltage relay causes major shutdown in several industrial plants. And then, large scale of production losses caused by unnecessary shutdown that reach up to million ringgit when voltage sec occurs. Next, equipment used this day, especially electronic devices, are more complex which is more sensitive to voltage sack. And the last one is industrial automation system rely on electronic devices which require constant DC voltage supply. So next we go to the objective. First is to understand the cost of voltage sack which is fault and also heavy load. And the second is to study the types of voltage sack and its characteristic. Then, study the effect of voltage sack in electrical system. Also, identify some mitigation technique in reducing or preventing voltage sack. Next is investigate the best mitigation technique to overcome voltage sack. The mitigation of voltage sack we have four here. So we will be focused on the first one which is Dynamic Voltage Restorer which is DVR. So what is DVR? DVR is a series connected power electronic device used to inject voltage of required magnitude and frequency. So the DVR operation, the nominal or rated voltage is compared with the voltage variation. DVR will inject the difference of voltage that is required by the load. So next we will go on simulation and results. So here is the simulation for our voltage sack. Here is the three phase source which will generate 11 kV. The transformer which will reduce step down the voltage from 11 kV to 400 volt. Then the third component is the three phase fault which is currently set from phase A to ground. And the fault will occur from 0.04 to 0.06 and we have two buses here and also the last is the RL three-phase load 
and we also have both meter and m meter here so the dvr will be explained by ikmal after this so let's run the circuit so this is the voltage waveform so yellow is the first phase which is phase a set to be fault with the ground so let's set for three phase fault so this is when three phase fault occur we shows here we have both this set for all phases which involve red yellow and blue we can also do for double phase fault so this is what will happen when only two phases are being shot into each other same goes to the emitter in order to solve of the voltage set in this system we use dvr system with pi controller as a mitigation techniques in a matlab simulation here is the circuit diagram that we built in matlab by referring the several studies and research paper in DVR system, we use the transformer booster to connect the DVR to the distribution. In DVR circuit diagram, we use PI controller as a controller to generate the DVR. And this is the circuit diagram of the PI controller. This is the following result after we use DVR system as mitigation techniques and it shown the voltage set at 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 second had been fixed and no voltage set occurred at this time. Therefore, the output voltage phase to ground fault had been improved and have a constant value of voltage. So as the final observation, the modeling and simulation of DVR controlled by PI controller has been developed by using MATLAB. The simulation result shows that DVR compensates the site quickly and provides excellent voltage regulation. DVR has shown the ability to compensate of voltage sack at the system and it can be proved through simulation. On final note, DVR is considered as effective method due to its small size, low cost and fast dynamic response. But when it comes to implementation, it is crucial to consider these factors so that performance of DVR is optimized. Hence, in future work, we will include a comparison with the laboratory experiment in order to compare simulation and experimental results.